Welcome back. We are just about to get into the last heat of the day, heat four of round four. And it's got a couple of real dark horses who have been knocking over big names on their run through the contest. Jadson Andre and Alex Ribeiro, Josh Kerr. He's in a pretty good position on the ratings. Williams. And Ross, take us through Alex's first wave. Well, this is a dreamy wave, and that's an amazing floater right there, actually getting upside down and then throwing some fireworks on that second turn. So, wow, amazing rhythm for Alex Ibero. He's had a, a really good connection with the surf spot today. You know, this is not his home break, but he has been hooking up with amazing waves and then finishing that wave off. So that's what, three or four major moves on a quality wave. That's got to be a big score for Alex Ibero. Up next, we got Jadson Andre on his backhand. This guy's been on fire all event, too. Uh, again, uh, you know, as you said, Ronnie, a couple of guys flying under the radar. Dark horses for sure. And we'll get into more of Jadson's story in this heat. We really want to dive into it because he has been fighting for his career this year. He's got a knee injury, and he has no choice but to fight for his seed. And then, um, you know, easily the favorite in this heat, Josh Kerr, who's been on a roll the last few events. He's got great flow, but he's a light-footed surfer and uh, definitely a trickster. But he's been surfing so confident, has he? And right there, there's that tail release. Pete, that was a great uh, question, a great interview. Good to get those reasons why he was letting those roars out. He's got some frustrations, Ross. He's been on the QS for a, what seems like a, an eternity. And he just wants to put on a good show in this CT contest on his way to his best ever finish in a championship tour event. And, I wouldn't be surprised if there, there is frustration because he was part of a, an experimental year. There was a mid-year rotation at one point. They were trying something different, and he was a victim. He yeah. fell off tour after just a few events, and he's going to give himself a great shot at a quarterfinal. Here we go, live action. Kerr up once again. He had a 5.33 on his first wave. Had a lot of moves, but just a bit too much flowing down the line and really not committing to any major turns as far as the judges were concerned. And Tanner is one of those guys who year in, year out is right there on the, the, the bubble of qualifying. He's never finished outside the top 50, so always a consistent performer on the QS, but it is very hard to break through, through, especially when surfers start going back from the championship tour to back themselves on the QS. That gets very difficult, but here we go. Alex Cabero up once again. Looking to back up the 7.73 here. Behind him, Jansen Andre with a huge hit to get things started. Bashing through that pocket once again. And he goes down on the third manoeuvre. Uh, you know, it's, it's causing a lot of these waves to get broken, but look at this one. It's a clean green wall. And I, when these surfers have that, they can go to town. So right there, he's carving. His tail slid a little more than he anticipated on that second turn, and it just kind of broke his speed, the talent and the skills right now to, to win a few of these events to close this year out. So you, you just never know. Here goes Alex, goes to the air, almost rides out of that move. Jadson wants it. He's going to have a look at this left-hander. We know how efficient he is in the air, but he doesn't get the ramp that he needs to take flight. He has been a little more patient than his rivals. Let's see if he can make it count. So just holds up and takes a bit of a high line to get some speed to find this open section. Ooh, almost lost it there, trying to ride out of that move. And that wave's going to get away from him. He opts out. Jadson out the back. With eyes on the left, this wind will work out nicely for his front side air reverse if he can get it happening. At the moment though, just letting go of some nice drawn out calves. Now he's just standing back in the pocket, hoping that this wave stands up, but it doesn't, he kicks out. Kelly will hang back during those big sets and wait for the, the wave that comes through on the inside, trailing it and, and pick off a, a nice little double up. Yeah, those double ups are sneaky. And right here, Alex Abrello, he split that wave uh, Jadson Andre went left, he went right, and the right was far better. And I, I love the patience he had. You see that cut down before his closing maneuver? That was well timed. You know, he could have got a little hasty and went for one big aerial or, a, you know, a big old snap. Instead, he carved down and gave it a clean hook. So that's going to be a great backup score for Alex uh, with that. Already he's got a 7.73. This might even be better than that. 
See Jadson on the left. He's looking for a ramp, and it didn't pay off for him. Actually getting two decent scores to turn this heat around. Here goes Jadson again. Looking left. Huge first turn. Swung that tail right around. And now he's back out in front of it. Seeking out more opportunities to go big. Lining up this inside. And he's going to kick his fins free once again. Not bad at all. And on the right-hander, we've got Josh Kerr. These are just transition turns. Not a lot of points in these. Josh mixing it up a little bit, just leaning back hard on that last one. Nice little slashing turn into a 360. And on the other hand, he put something together on that left-hander. Not a bad effort. He should have a chance here in the closing minutes. Josh always light on his feet, which makes him so agile, Ronnie. He's great at getting that speed at will. So there he goes. He's wrapping it back. He's been throwing this little stylish cutback throughout this event. Right here, you can see him lean back and almost drag both hands in the wall. Something you'd see almost back in the 60s and 70s. Very cool. But unfortunately, it's not going to, um, you know, it's not going to impress the judges uh, that much where he's going to get an excellent score. Jadson, that's aggressive. Now, uh, you know, he took some time to recover between all these big moves. That first opening move was definitely committed, but there was a little break in the action where he had to find that green wall again. Right here, a little break in the action until he found that and floated over the top to get this last closing turn. Again, very impressive how he kicked the tail, but... It really woke the judges up, and Jadson trying to do that once again here. Just crept a little too far up the front of his board while it looks at things there. Ross, what are your thoughts? And Alex Ribeiro is into the quarterfinals. What a performance from him. An amazing effort. And it will be Jadson Andre, who I believe will take on Stu Kennedy in round five. And uh, Josh Kerr will come up against Joel Parkinson.